Hello, this is Kevin from Crypto MY. In today's episode, I will teach you guys the tutorial on step by step how to use this OTX wallet, decentralized wallet. So let's stay tuned. If you don't have an account yet in OTX, remember to use my referral link below. I'll put down the link below the scroll all the way down. Click my referral link, register an account and get some freebies. So once you have registered an account, go to App Store or Google Play Store to download the OKX app. Or if you prefer to use the desktop version or the laptop version, just go ahead. It's the same. So I assume that you already registered an account and you already downloaded it and you already logged in. The next thing that you have to go is, of course, you just click on the OKX app. The moment you log in already, then you were able to see there is an exchange, centralized exchange and also wallet here, this centralized wallet. So what is decentralized? Decentralized in layman term, meaning that you are holding your own asset, you are holding your own key, your master key, your funds and whatsoever. But centralized exchange, you don't have or you don't own the keys. So keys means meaning that the master key, the um, phrase, the backup phrase that you always write down on a piece of paper. If you lost that piece of paper and you want to recover it, there is no forget password. Basically, you are losing your whole asset. So remember to keep that paper safe, uh, that backup phrase safe uh, in the drawer or anywhere in your house, just in case. But it's much more safer, to be honest. Some people prefer to use decentralized over the centralized. But OKX actually offer both. So for here, you can see you can swap between both. And if you are a current user in OKX, let's say I assume that you have $100, $200 like me. I have $200 here right now in the centralized wallet. I can actually swap it over with ease, super easy into the decentralized wallet. I will show you how. But if you are new users, then you have to deposit from some other places, either to the centralized wallet or decentralized wallet. Either way will work. So how do I want to transfer it over? Very simple. I just click on the wallet and it will go to the decentralized wallet. And how do I want to transfer from centralized exchange to a decentralized wallet? Very, very easy. Um, I just have to click on the receive button on the top and you're able to see there is a withdraw crypto from exchange account, this one. So um, I just click try it now. Uh, you see immediately I have the $200 there. I just click on it and select the uh, network that I love to. Let's say I want to uh, select Arbitrum 1 and um, I just put the amount which is $200 and I click submit. Submit. Then you ask me for the email verifications and also the authenticator app. Um, let me do this very, very quickly. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back. So let's say I already requested to submit that. I can view the withdrawal details. I can go back and I can wait for the funds to drop it over here. So it's simple. So once I receive it, um, then I will get the $200 in the decentralized wallet. But while waiting for the uh, things to happen, right? You can see down below the receive, there is some tasks that you can do, discover the latest airdrop and earn cryptos, join Lido, uh, Lido version 2 to get $20 gas rebate, learn to earn, which is the Cryptopedia. If you haven't watched that yet, feel free to watch, okay? So it's quite simple. All the way down, you were able to see there is crypto, there is NFT, there is DeFi, there is approval. You can do a lot of things with that. Uh, I mean, this is your wallet. And But then if you go all the way down a bit, uh, there is a trade where you can have a market or trade. Um, trade meaning you could swap between, let's say just uh, later on, I'll have a USD here then I can actually swap it over. But good thing is here, um, if you use MetaMask before, um, let's say if that token is on Ethereum chain, you need to have 
a bit of Ethereum for the gas fees, right? So if you don't have Ethereum and you want to swap to that token which is on the uh, Ethereum blockchain, then it will show you, uh, you cannot click, like, basically you cannot swap at all because the gas fees require Ethereum. So you have to inject Ethereum a bit there or you have to leave some for Ethereum gas fees. But in this case, I will show you later, you can use or you can swap without that native token if you are using that blockchain itself. Okay, sounds interesting. Uh, that is a plus plus point for me. Because honestly, I think it's a very um, troublesome when it comes to swapping, when I need to swap to that tokens, but I need that tokens, uh, native tokens, uh, that blockchain native tokens for the gas fees. So it's a bit troublesome. Okay, so uh, I'll show you this later, but you're able to see the, you should be able to get my picture. Basically, you can do everything here, the NFTs, the rankings, the ordinals, the launchpad, and so on and so forth. You can even do earn um, to stake your tokens or you while you're not doing anything and you can even discover more like the Cryptopedia that I just mentioned. Okay, so coming back to here, yeah, uh, I already received my USDT. Okay, so if you look at here right now, I have about $200 here. $200, you can see they swap from uh, my account, but it's on Arbitrum chain. Okay, so from Arbitrum chain. So I need to have, by right, I need to have Arbitrum to swap it to, I don't know, other Arbitrum uh, crypto. But I can also do cross chain, meaning that I can swap it from Arbitrum to ERC, ERC to BSC or whatsoever. But let's say, for example, um, since right now I have Arbitrum, so I just click on Arbitrum, I have like $200 here. So let's say I want to buy something worth of $25. So you see, like uh, this Lido is actually on Ethereum chain, right? And for me to purchase it on, uh, on MetaMask, usually it would take a uh, few more steps, uh, I would say. So I'm going to click approve here, simple. And you are able to see the max fees. I need to have an average of ARBETH, which I don't have. So I cannot click confirm, right? I cannot click confirm. What I can do is you can see here insufficient uh, ARB uh, ETH network fees. But you see on the down down there, right? The bit down there, there is a fill up ARB ETH. What I can do is I can click on that, click on it. You can see there is a swap for gas, withdraw and receive. So I can click swap for that and I can pay $5. You can see I can pay $5 and uh, fill up the ARB ETH. Simple. I just need to have uh, USDT. Uh, earlier, I already have USDT. So I just click fill up. Pending the uh, transaction submitted. Uh, I can view the order details if I want to. Uh, your transaction should be done in a minute. So let's say if it's done, it will show um, the network fees and reference and so on and so forth. I think it could be very, very quick. Uh, let's say I assume um, it's done. Then I can click approve and I can click confirm. You see the confirm button there? I can't confirm. So it's approving right now. It's approving right now. And I can click swap cross chain. But why is the swap so high? But let's assume that I don't want Lido because the swap is a bit too high, right? Uh, let's say if I want Arbitrum. Uh, I'm swapping for Arbitrum, uh, which is USDT to Arbitrum. I just click swap. So once I swap it, you were able to see there is a USDT to Arbitrum. I mean, this is from chain to chain, the same chain to same chain, which is Arbitrum chain to Arbitrum chain. But just now, if I do cross chain, then you have to be careful on the slippage because the value difference would be super different. So if let's say if I try to click Tron and I want to swap from Tron to, for example, um, TRX and I can click 
12 dollars or oh, this is minimum of 30 30 dollars okay fine so due to low liquidity or high cross chain fees you receive a uh, 49 percent less so you have to be very careful because i'm using arbitrum chain um basically okx will actually um, help me to swap 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 without doing anything but you get a picture so if i'm swapping for arbitrum chain i have to swap it to um some other chain first then only i can swap it to tron so there's like a two layer things that's why it costs me a lot of money but if let's say if you are swapping from bsc to bsc you are doing a um, not a cross chain but a direct chain then it will be much more cheaper like how i did just now so if you look back here um 20 dollars is there arb is there and i think that's all simple is that so um if you want to do anything else you can do the um, earn uh, you can stick your arb by clicking the earn button simple as that invest and stuff like that you can do whatever things you like here all right so i hope this is very helpful and i think that's all for today's episode if you like my episode today remember to click like share and subscribe gonna see you guys soon and goodbye